Well, well, how are you guys? How are you doing? Uh, today, we are going to learn a very interesting topic. This is power block diagram, or sometimes we call it power sequence uh, diagram. From here, you can see I have to that voltage AC adapter. So this is the adapter which supplies uh, power into the motherboard. And it is indicated here number one, so meaning this is the first phase of power supply. Gluting the battery. So the arrow points at where the voltage goes. So here you have a voltage coming from the adapter going inside the motherboard. This entire diagram represents the motherboard. So you have voltage in. This is the first point or the first phase of power supply. You can see here I have an arrow uh, pointing towards the battery. So it means this is the voltage going inside the battery. Then from the battery, you have a footage coming back into the motherboard. So you have a footage going to charge the battery, then a voltage it is charging the battery or the voltage being supplied into the motherboard. So this is what we call phase one of power supply. From here, we are going to the second phase. This is phase two power supply. And it goes here, we will have the first step down. So this is the first step down to power supply. At this circuit, it will generate 3.3 voltage and 5 voltage and this one they indicate that always what does that mean so it means this voltage are always available so long as you plug in your adapter or the battery power supply right we will always have this voltage all day from here depending on which voltage you supplied if it is from the adapter and the standard voltage in a laptop motherboard is 20 voltage so we can get 19 20 that's also okay so it means you will be having 20 voltages going all the way from phase one phase two then until it reaches this step down circuit at this uh, circuit we love the step down voltage from 19 to 3.3 and to 5 voltage and these voltages are sent into the ICH this ICH, we sometimes call it PCH, Platform Control Hub. But if you see it written ICH, this is also an acronym for that PCH. This is Input Control Hub. Hope you're getting that. So this is the chipset which controls all the inputs and outputs devices, including the USB ports, the RAM, right? Yes. So from there, we will also have the second step down voltages. So this one we will have the input being 19 and the outputs we will have 1.8 voltage 0 0.9. So this one goes for the DRs. So for example, this 1.8 voltage, it shows, it tells us this uh, this uh, laptop motherboard uses DDR2 because this is the voltage which are used in DDR2 RAM, right? Yes. In case if it was DDR1, we will be having 2.5 voltage and here 1.2 voltage. If it was DDR3, we will be having 1.5. If it was PC3L or DDR3L, we will be having 1.35. For the DDR4, we will be having 1.2 voltage. For DDR5, we will be having 1.1 voltage, right? So in short, this is the, step, uh, the second step down voltage. For the DDRs, then we'll also have another uh, step down voltage or the CPU core voltage, which will be 0 0.8 and 1.05 for the FICO, right? Yes, so that is it. So, meaning uh, this is the first one of power supply, and then this is the phase two power supply. So, from the first one power supply, we will have 19, phase two still we will have 19. Then after phase two, we will have what's called secondary voltages. So meaning what? This 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1.8, 1.05, 1 these are called secondary voltages, right? Yes, except these ones, which are always, this is still primary voltage. So that's what we call the main power lane. So when you hear, when you hear about the main power lane in a laptop, this is what you need to confirm they are present. That those voltages being supplied, this voltage in, 
an obvious phase two voltage then you must have three th these two voltages 3.3 and 5.0 this is what is called main power lane supply right yes in case you're missing one of these for example maybe i have 5.0 and i don't have 3.3 as a technician i know i'm dealing with no power issue or in case i have 3.3 and i don't have 5.0 it still it means i don't have uh, uh, power in my laptop right yes because these are the voltages which are supposed to be there to power on the pch right yes and you can see guys uh, other than this 3.3 going into the ICH it also goes back to the SIO this SIO is what we call a power supply or power management IC right yes so this is the IC responsible for all the power supply inside the motherboard whichever the signals need, needed to be sent out whichever the power needed to be supplied to whatever component it is needed so it is the responsibility of this IC to ensure that each component inside the laptop gets the power, right? Yes. So in case you have an issue with this IC, you will experience a lot of problem with power supply. So in short, you will have an issue with the power supply. You can see, you can see here, you have this uh, enable pin. So this enable pin goes into the first one of power supply. So it means this pin initiates initiates the the voltage flow all the way from the first one then into the laptop. You can see at each uh, step down circuits, for example, this one, you have some uh, signals coming from the SIO. For example, this pin number four, it goes here after it received this three voltage from this depth down voltage and this i see uses three voltage yes Mo uh, most of the pins here the input voltage for this i see is 3.3 the output several of them are 3.3 why because most of those voltages are going either into the ich or into the uh, cpu right uh, in the RAM you can see so I have some signals coming from this SIO some are going to this some are going into this circuit for the MOSFETs some other signals are going here to the second step down that is for the RAM other signals are going into the CPU in case we had a uh, graphics still because we have another step down voltage for the graphics but I believe for this motherboard have been included it inside the CPU right yes still you can see there are some signals going still into the battery you have SM bus so this SM bus has 3.3 voltage and this one controls the BMS inside uh, that battery BMS is a battery management system that is the, the system which uh, ensures that the battery and the main motherboard are cooperating or are coordinating right yes so you can see without this IC you will have a problem with power supply inside your laptop all right yes I believe so far at least you've understood uh, something a little bit even though I know you might not have understood everything but at least you have a hint of what is happening right yes uh, I said this ICH controls the inputs inside this ICH we have two uh, integrated uh, chipsets that is we have what's called the node bridge and the south bridge the node bridge controls the high speed components including the RAM right then you have the south bridge which controls the other inputs that is the audio jacks USB ports HDMI so that's the responsibility of the south bridge so uh, my point is this uh, ICH has a lot of work this one coordinates the CPU it coordinates the functionality of the CPU to other peripherals components peripherals components are other components apart from the CPU that is 
the OS. In in that case, the hard disk or the SSD, the RAM, right? Yes. So for the RAM and the CPU to cooperate together or to understand each other, they need the node bridge, and that node bridge are inside the ICH or the PCH. That's why you can see this uh, PCH needs 3.3 voltage and then 5 voltage. So this 3.3 goes into the not bridge and the 5.0 goes into the south bridge, right? Yes, because in the south bridge we need the operation of it. We need to ensure that there's power for the USBs. That's why when you test the voltages which are contained in the terminals, the positive terminals of the USBs, you'll get it, uh, there's, it is 5 voltage. And that 5 voltage is coming all the way from the, the circuit, or 3.3 and 5 voltage, right? Yes, and these voltages, we normally call it a family, because the two of them must be there together for a laptop to, to have a sign of life. Right? Yes. In case you're missing one of them, you're missing that family. Right, guys? Yes. So thank you so much for being patient with me. And I really appreciate you guys. If you subscribe to this channel and share with your friends. So thank you so much. And uh, see you in the next video. And uh, enjoy. Goodbye.